and warm. Well, mate, calm down. My bad, calm my down. Bad, it's my fine. Bad, it's fine. Bad, it's fine. It's fine. We get it. We get it, bro. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sound. Just gonna say. That's it. <laughs> 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 Ready. Okay, anyway, welcome back to episode three. We're all a bit tired today because it's now basically five to twelve. Just got out the cinema. How are you boys feeling? Good. Motivated. Yeah, good. <laughs> Hungry. That's what D- it is. Just saying, the film, I, I agree with you now, the second one is better, but I rate this one a nine. Creed, Creed 3, yeah, that sorry, is what we went to go watch if, well, you know, you didn't know, but... Uh, Try not to spoil it. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> going to spoil it. I'm not going to say anything about the movie. But in terms of if you one, you like sports, perfect film. Two, Michael B. Like, Jordan. You, oh, he's a sexy man. man. I'd try, try him. For him. No, but he's a. If you if you like those type of like if you got that motivation from Rocky and all this type of stuff, you'll get it more from this movie because it's got the rich side in it. When I talk about the money that he has in that movie, the house and, in that film, the cars. It makes me like dead hungry to just. Oh, his outfits were on old. point on this one. Like oh, when he was really? wearing the hoodie with the long suit coat. Yeah. I was, I was like, that, that's dapper. I don't think he was wearing a long suit coat. He was wearing a full brown suit. No, because like he, he was in. Oh, maybe then. It's when he comes down the stairs. Yeah, I, I thought I saw a hoodie and he had like a suit coat over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. I, swear, I think Looks he just sick. had a, a blazer, normal trousers, and I don't know. I don't really. Don't. Nah, we'll but, have to go back and watch it. Yeah, yeah, son. I'm gonna watch the number two tonight. <laughs> Like, when you go, I'm watching that. Films like Creed, though, like, don't, like, don't, like, don't disappoint with music. No, the music in them is always so good because they're dead modern. Like, how they're doing advertisements for, like, I'm mostly going to talk about the second one, the and, like, the first one, just so I can. Like, when you come like, out to Icon. Yeah, but I mean, like, in, when they do it, like, an actual advertisement for upcoming oh, to yeah, fight, yeah. they do it so realistically. I'm actually starting to believe that they're. That's no, it's real. It was on a trailer, so I'm not spoiling anything. But this one, how he did the um, the um, like YouTube interview, mm, mm. Oh, it's so good with Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, that's mad. It's mad they had everyone like Canelo was in it. I mean, Tony Bellew like, again. Yeah, you know with that like recently when um, Ooh, well, what? sorry when Jake Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal. like you know because obviously he did that like obviously. UFC, yeah, he's doing the Roadhouse. Yeah, yeah but obviously, like, really they, they actually put it like they were recording it, but in like in a real situation, weren't they? Yeah, like, like you know, it actually yeah, does yeah. Actually real way. Like, it actually looked like a he's UFC. Ripped a fuck as well. It actually looked like a UFC uh, press conference. Yeah, exactly. Like the way in and oh, it was so good. Just looked so realistic, and I, I can't wait for that film to come out. It looks really good. Jim G- is kind of underrated now. Him in Southpaw. You ever see Southpaw? Yeah, it's such a good 10. film. Ten out of ten film. I love that. I cried so much. Yeah, definitely. But such 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 a good film. Like probably talk about motivation. Like what kind of motivation did that you know Creed Free give you? Money, boxing though. Yeah, like, me honestly, and Kez like in the middle of it. Like Kez went, should we start boxing? And obviously we did the promise. So now me and Kez promise is a big thing. Like it's, we've actually invited Corbin into it. To be fair, us we have got a big like I'm a lover. thing. Is if we <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> well, we've got a big thing. Is if we like. Do certain handshake. That's our promise, and you can't break that promise. Shoot, then, show. well, yeah, then you go up, go through, <laughs> go over the hoop. That's that's the promise. But, and we um, actually haven't backed out once on that. No, we we've only ever backed out if when it's like both been a decided. mutual decision. Yeah, speak for both sides. Yeah, but um, it motivated me with money, but boxing as well because I was like, I need like advice. Mm. Cause I'm, I feel like I've got a lot of pent up frustration at the moment. Cause I'm waking up and every day is the same. I feel like you're in a simulation. It doesn't even feel like I'm in a simulation. It just feels like I'm in a repeating day. Every yeah, day is the exact yeah, same. Yeah, weeks, can't. weeks are going by. And I'm like, wow, okay, I've I achieved nothing this week. I don't Wait. think it helps. Sorry, go on. You yeah, I was gonna say it's like we're three months into the year already, and That's I haven't done crazy. anything. I haven't done anything. It's snowing in March. <laughs> That's shit. Global man. warming. Well, I woke up, opened my blind today. It was white. I was, I was pissed off. I was like, fuck off. That's what I mean. I think I don't think it helps where we live. We have nothing. We just had a new bowling. And that's just gonna get overrated by fucking teens. You're like, oh come on, I'm gonna wear fucking represent and punch the bag and get hundred. Yes, lad. Duh. It's just, I've 
watching that film just like really got into my but I get motivation from stuff like that quite a lot like if I see something I'm always like I want that now mm. but I'm in that I'm in that sense I'm a very visual learner anyway I actually learn stuff by look, like, by watching yeah I've slowly learned over time that that's how I learn stuff and it's like you know what I, I really wish we did that test like in high school where like you kind of find out what kind of learners we are is it like is it kind of I, you can be like know. a kinetic, I think it's a kinetic learner, which yeah. is where you actually do it. Yeah. You can be a visual learner, which is where you see it, yeah. or you, uh, an audio learner, where like. Everyone's different, aren't they? It's I'm just... definitely the one where like it's physical. Yeah. I but thought I was, too, but to I, I watch stuff. Yeah. And I learned that from playing fighting games because I, th- I feel like, but I also learned that from like boss fights and dark holes and stuff like, in games. I don't learn by losing in the fight i learned by watching the fight if yeah. i watch other people do it you i used to like speed run bloodborne because i used to see people do it and then i was like I, I can do that i can do that like so from that is where i get it from but some people can listen to someone say okay so you do this and you do this i can't listen to instructions i want to see them yeah yeah like, if you show me an example of something I'll keep i can learn from that right. i can like i can learn from that but if you tell me how to do it i'm going like what are you on about yeah i can't do it it happens in my driving lessons. She's like, okay, so you're going to want to do this through and then this. But I'm like, I'd rather talk me through it at the same time and kind of tell me what I should do with my feet. And then I can be like, oh, okay, Sam. Like, that's where I love learning. And that's, that's, that motivates me as well. It's like gathering knowledge and knowledge is power, actually right? just learning something. You know how, like, if I sit there, like when, when I edit, edit this episode and cut everything through, if it looks perfect, that for me is like an accomplishment because yeah, I've yeah, learned yeah, different yeah. things along the way. I've learned, oh, it's easier to cut that there. It's quicker to do this. Or one, it's just like the small things make it satisfying. I feel like learning is the biggest motivation. That's why I think people love sports so much because you can feel yourself getting better at sports. Well, that's the best way to feel like motivated and that in it, like sports. Because in sports, is you can always just keep getting better. Yeah, you can obviously get worse. Like a box, like you can get injured, and like you're, age you're done. And stuff like that. But that's why the gym's so good, though, because mm-hmm. you start lifting more, you get stronger. Yeah. That means that like you've accomplished that. Then that's why well, that's when the gym gets good. The gym gets a stalemate when you're doing the same weights all the time. Exactly. Uh, like I was gonna say, for like people that go to the gym as well, they, they notice their mental health. Like doing so much better from it. Like it just, just gives you like what you need. It doesn't do anything for me anymore. Anymore. It used to when I was younger and I wasn't working, I wasn't tired all the time. Yeah. I was banging. Do you remember? Me and Nathan were fucking. Yeah, to be fair, every time like, I used to walk in and you, were, you guys were already in there and well, you used to be on smokes, nigga level. No, well, me and Nathan, like, we were known for going to the gym. Yeah. Because we were just going to the gym all the time and now it's gotten to the point it's like. Lockdown fucked us up. I just want to praise you for actually, like, saying that name perfectly. Right, like that could have gone so wrong. <laughs> Arnold, <laughs> don't even like cancelled. Like, example, like, I, I, I'm not even gonna attempt it. But I'm like, play. I feel like that's one thing that we all struggle with is because we don't accomplish much. We're not motivated to do much. And we don't do. We don't. We we have to scrap a million different episodes because we want it to be perfect. And that feeling of like doing it wrong and not getting anything from it and not pulling anything out for the week and not posting anything on the, on the Instagram, we don't get any motivation from that. Like, when we upload an episode, I'm like, that first episode we uploaded, I could have cried. <laughs> well, they're texting each other when the views were going up. Like, I, was in, I, I was in the fucking gym and I looked and it's minus two outside. What the fuck? Is that actually get fucked? But I was on it and I remember just looking at it, it said 28 viewers. But there were 28 people watching at the exact yeah, same no, time. And I, like, to me, I was like, this is crazy. And I felt dead accomplished. Yeah, and then yeah, I come yeah. home and I wanted to do everything. Yeah, literally. Like, it's like as soon as you well, get that little bit, you want to do more. And I can't pay anything out. Like, when we can't do anything, I'm like, fuck, I'm gutted now. Yeah. Do you know what and then been, I get stuck. You know what has been so motivating me? Loads of edits have been coming up on TikTok here. And it's like, do you know that song? Is it called Trance? I've been cute. That, and like, they did. And like an edit over that, you know, like in LA, you saw sick cars and like show the jewelry, the shoes, them all together, and like houses and that. It like it was just sick. I saw one, you know, that like, uh, Kyron, Kyron does like he did a fits one. and stuff like that. He yeah. does it for JD now. Uh, if I can, I'll show it you. 
It's going to be fun. Don't copyright now, do we? It's all right. Uh, no, but he did a video. He was in Iceland. Mm. And it was just... <sighs> <laughs> that is uh, my Casio in the back. That does it at 12 or 2 every single night. For some reason. It's, it's 12 mad. or 2? Yeah. Fucking hell. We're doing overtime tonight, boys. After hours. After hours. In the SU studios. <laughs> AKA. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm not gonna be able to find it now. But you will know him. But um, he did a video with it, and he was in Iceland. And he was just doing loads of cool stuff, having like pictures taken of him on like a little event thing. And I was like, oh, it's so cool. Like imagine living that lifestyle that you're getting paid to go out to this like to these places to wear nice things, and it's like you want to be there. It be was one day, and you're getting paid for it. It's crazy. Like, you know, you know, like, what Noah Beck is doing at the minute, like, Vinayaka, like, imagine getting asked out to go, like, by Prada and Chanel. Wait, all this kind of, it's Noah crazy. Beck is, like, carrying Prada. Just one sexy guy, though, isn't he? I love Prada. I'm I so, love Prada so, so much. Sorry, Prada just on the Noah Beck. Smash. He's a bit sus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not being I mean, mean, I'm <laughs> sus, but, like, he's I'm not being mean, but sus. if he came out, it wouldn't surprise me. No, no, no. But, like... He is sound. If, like, he's sound, lad. <laughs> And Man. I met him that one time. What about Vinyaka though? I love him. Then you, do you know, the guy that played um, in Star Wars, Darth Vader, uh, Christian Hayden. Oh, he look, wait, he looks. So I saw an like edit and it says yeah, Vinny could no. Oh, what was it? A Hayden Christian walk so Vinny could run. Literally though. Him. Literally. Oh uh, yeah. No, oh, yeah, but uh, he did such a cool video and. Watching people do all this cool stuff like, pisses me off. It's like, it, it makes you think, like, why can't, why I, can't do I do it? We yeah. proper, like, I feel like all of us together proper on that LA lifestyle. That's what I, that's, like, everyone good. says, oh, I don't want to be famous, I want to be rich. No, I want to be rich and famous. Mm. I want so, that popularity. Like, I want, I'm hungry for I that. I don't want it to be too overwhelming, though. No, I don't want it to be like, I can't. No, I, like everyone I lives. Mean, you mean, like, you don't want it to be like, do you know, like, some celebrities, like, can't walk in a shop without getting stopped? Yeah, like, that would piss me off. You sort of, like, well, you want, like, so influencer sick, famous right? then, innit? <laughs> yeah, you say, you say that, but it would get fucked. You want influencer it? famous, don't you? Like, yeah, where it's oh, not yeah. too bad, like, not everyone knows you. Like, it, The Rock can't want to be known it. online, but, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also bought one. Yeah, I'm looking at Broken Planet hoodies at the moment, and they look. Sexy as much as it is, like everyone wears them, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but also that's so I've nice. I've seen one person wear it, no, but like they're, they're, they're a big deal now, yeah. I, I think that, like, it's probably like one of those brands where, like, I don't know, people who I, like it like it. As I well. kind of hope that they keep with the the limited stuff, like, they don't go overboard with like making too much because if they make it too much, then people don't want it anymore, yeah. I don't want it to go out of fashion, yeah, too yeah, easily yeah, exactly. Cause that's what Yeezy did. That's what easy, and then they overproduce, and then now. Oh, with like with, when they club with Gap and shit like that. Uh, no, I was I was thinking just with like. Shoes. Oh yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah. Shoes that they were doing. It meant that they literally oh, had like four hundred and fifty million pounds worth of like shoes just in the warehouse, and they, uh, and at the minute they don't know what to do with it. Like Wait. if they burn them, then they you know they've said that they're causing harm to the planet. If they sell them, they're going to get a load of backlash from it because obviously you know it's it they're, yeah, they're it's selling something that's like yeah. Anymore. Give them away, and then yeah, they said if they give them away, then they don't want it. To, they, they don't want to get the shoes into the wrong people's hands and make money off it. It's like they it's can't a very win. awkward it, situation can't win. Isn't it, for them. So they, you know, they've been trying to speak to Kanye, but I don't think he's interested. Kanye don't need him though, does he? Yeah, you know, what I probably want to do. I want like our instances to be stacked here, but like imagine like they go on a highlight. Like, obviously, like, when people do highlights, they have like one of themselves, one out and about, and all that. Imagine, oh, like. The three of us at like a Travis Scott concert or like a Carty, like getting proper like. Bro, don't even piss me off. I want to go Carty so bad. <laughs> no, but like, Literally. don't get me wrong. I know like Travis Scott's had bad things happen at his concerts, but I do still really want to go. And I saw him start Butterfly Effect. I showed you both the other day, I think. And yeah. then it just goes, Kcha! the lights go off. Or here's the background music when it starts like that proper iconic one. That one's nice, you know. The quality on these drummers, but are insane. I like the heavyweight fit of them. Yeah. yeah. They, they they look good and they feel good on you. What well, actually like keeps you both motivated? Money, success, like seeing people. That's just thinking of money. Like okay, our our guy we get our haircut from, like uh, Kane, and he's two years older than us. 
And if you look at all the stuff he's achieved, he's, he's done he's so absolutely well. Absolutely incredible. And he has the now best. I go, I go to a lad two years older than me to get my hair cut. And he has the best shop in our Wiggy. town. <laughs> <laughs> best shop in Wiggy. I his song. But yeah, oh, lad, it's, it, yeah. That's really good, to be fair. That's cool. I really like that one. I do like that, Trapped in Time. It's Navy as well. Mm. Do I? How much is it? <laughs> yeah, it's Fuck, yeah. How much? 219. Maybe not with that price. Yeah, probably. Climate, mate. <laughs> probably get a different one. Get, go on stock kicks, bro. Yeah, oh, we're going to London, aren't we, for Dad's birthday? I'll yeah. wear my one if it comes on time. If that yours comes on time, what gang? Where do you guys go to London? 18th. It's my dad's birthday on the 25th. But so we said we'll take him London and like take him around, even though we don't fucking know what we're doing really. But <laughs> we, we know our way. We can get around better than you can. Do you know what that does kind of motivate me as well? Like the pictures you can take on Instagram. Like if it looks sick, like mm. it's kind of motivate me. I mean, I, I, I'm sure you guys are probably the same. My motivation is literally like helping my mum and my, like, you know, my sister, for example, get into a position where like they don't have to worry about money ever again. Exactly. Like, imagine, I want to like, look after the people around. Yeah. Me. Exactly. Exactly. Mine's easy because like my circle's not big at all. No, exactly. Yeah, so it look after. <laughs> makes it a bit have easier. To look after you <laughs> yeah. you get famous because yeah. you're when? gonna have the money. If there's no ifs around here, mate. I, like I'm not like trying to say. No, it's not saying anything bad. I've you just helped bought you. it. Yeah. No, not yet. I've helped you. Yeah. I'm like. Obviously, you also bef- twat about it sometimes, but <laughs> mate, no, I'm not. <laughs> like, no, I'm not saying anything bad. Like, now you're really good for money now, but like when you weren't, oh, I've been really bad for like, money, and then you, you relied on me and I pulled through. Corb, like, if you ever need anything, you can ask. Appreciate that. Well, I, I, I like being dependable. Like, as much money as I can sit there and spend, no one can sit there and say I can't look after them. Yeah, exactly. I've. I will, I will provide for Lydia till the day. Oh, yeah, was gonna, yeah the that's, day I, that's another one. Like, literally just like having that lifestyle that also like me and Abby want and the things that we want to have in the future. Like, you, you're you're going to have kids and bring them up in a in a house where they where they can comfortably do what they want. Yeah, but you can also comfortably do what you want. Like I was like I was saying to Abby like, like a couple of weeks ago. I mean, we're both saying it. Like, imagine your kid turning around and saying like, you know, I want to do this as well, like a hobby. For, for example, go kind. Yeah, we can afford that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want my kid to be like, you know, not n- not, not you. able, yeah, because of me, because that I, you know, that feels shit on me. The thing is, as well, yeah, I'm so proud to be British. Like, you don't British. understand. I'm proud. British. Obviously, oi, like oh, crew, battle butter. We won two <laughs> two world wars. We made one of the world's best cars, trains, and all that. But I promise, right now, yeah, I would l- I'd, l- I'd leave the UK in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, I mean, and, the, oh, yeah, but the way not it's look going, back, yeah. but not look back. No, no, no. I'd go and stay gone. Yeah, like I'd, I'd miss a lot of family, but I'd make sure, like. But yeah, but we're going to get to that point one day where, like, right, I'm moving to LA and I'm bringing everyone with me. Mm, yeah. I thought you don't like traps there anymore. Not on traps, though. It's just. Oh, is it just? Oh yeah, it's category. I just bought that fucking. What do you know, so. Which one? Uh, the navy one. Sweet. I love Navy. Oh, I'm tired. Tired, bro. Nah, bro. Nice. I'm tired for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Prick. Skepta. No, it's not Skepta. Um, fucking Stormzy. My bad. Oh, no, no. I, you prick. Fuck's sake. My bad. Shut up. My bad. I low key like the uh, night tight joggers at the moment. You know. Bombastic side eye. <laughs> no, I don't really like. What you need to do is you need to push some light down a bit more. There you go. It's heavy on one side. No, but um, I don't get me wrong. I don't like the people who use UAM, but I like the joggers. Joggers are always like a dead nice fit. Yeah. I, the grey joggers could be basically a staple this way. Yeah. Like, if you wear the full grey tracksuit, it depends what you're doing. Yeah. If you're in sports, I don't really give a fuck. But if you're just wearing them out and about in on a day out, <laughs> if you're going to the board and food and wearing fucking... <laughs> I do still want some Jordan 4s. So, well, I'm going to try to get them Jordan 3s tomorrow. Which ones? Uh, Jordan 3, um, blah, 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 blah. Fuck. Blah, blah, bombastic side eye. <laughs> bombastic side eye. Oh, I saw eye. some um, Travis Scott Phantoms now in like, real life. I like them. Fair enough. I know you don't. I'm still not a fan. I don't know why. Them. Like them. I'm what? Eight, one, eight, nine, nine, five. Treat yourself. You actually Bad don't treat yourself as much as you should. 
Thank you. To be fair, I think we've real, we've already gone off subject. It's, it's about motivation. I don't know. To be fair, shoes motivate me. Being able to buy, like looking at my shoe collection and seeing that I've got like loads of limited edition shoes here and there, and like I, I keep buying my like I'm getting obsessed with trying to buy watches at the moment. Being able to afford these interests and these hobbies, when I buy a pair like a new pair of shoes, I'm like I can afford this, and then mm-hmm. I also get stuck in a stalemate all the time where I'm just like I just I just I feel stuck I feel like thinking of the places you can go like obviously London and that that I think that's what's like sort of keeping me motivated now I'm like alright I'm doing something with the year now I'm not staying in like our town I'm I'm going I know it's only for a day like not even a full day like a full day is 24 hours I'm going for a couple of hours but like that's still some in it. Like you're still going out. Like I said, I went Chester for a spa and I come back feeling like a different person. Like, bro, we need to fucking go. Like we need to get it sorted now, you know. <laughs> and then it's like, oh no, I was like, oh no, we're going Paris in April. Yeah. Because it's like, I I need to go to these places so I can actually start experiencing all these other. I want to experience well. luxuries and I hold on to it. I think it was I can't remember who said it. But uh, someone said, oh, if you go in, if you fly in, just one time, just fly first class. Mm. Pay the extra money, go first class. Because then once you have that, you'll never want to fly business yeah. class and you'll work towards that first class experience all the time. Yeah. Well, I feel like for guys in this day and age, especially younger ones, especially when you're not in an area where it doesn't help. Yeah, yeah. We just get stuck in the path of we're just working. Especially, like, because obviously, you know, we're from crew and, like, the big workplace that everybody knows is, like, for example, Bentley or, like, the railway and stuff. And as soon as you get stuck into that kind of system, but I'm not saying, like, you know, they're bad jobs because they are very good jobs. As soon as you get stuck in that system, it's, like... Kind of stuck for it for the rest of your exactly, life, Exactly, exactly. Like, it's only one thing. They're, per- they're jobs that will last you for the rest of your life. Yeah. The railway, yeah. you're in there. Once you're in there, you're in there. Yeah, exactly. Made in the room. I'm in, either. then I'm out. I'm in this, then I'm out. Whatever that fucking means. But like, no, I feel like that's another good thing about us doing this. No one else who like lives and in our town are doing a podcast. I mean, I mean no one off, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, no, but, like, <laughs> but like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Anyone that we know, even distantly know. I'm not doing this. Aren't doing it. No, no, exactly. I feel like in a way that's going to make sort of stand out. Because like, if they go like, oh, do you know Nathan? They go, oh, yeah. Him and Kieran and Corbin do a podcast, don't they? They go, oh, yeah. Yeah, I've listened to it a few times. Like, do you know, like, like thingy popping up to you, like, um, hashtag school unit, and they just, what, like, to me, that's mad. We were just at the cinema, and someone's watching our video and sent it to you. That's sick. And giving us a talk, you know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. My bad, I'm joking. Obviously, when I was with um, Jess the other week, and, like, people were popping up, it's like, oh, it's fucking funny, like, we're watching the podcast now. I will like them. Even though you ruin it. What? 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 I said even though he ruins it. Oh. It's like you ruin people's lives. <laughs> oh, God. Eight years as well. Wow. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> like, when we got back, if you could actually hear us when we got out in the cinema and we out we were there making copper. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. There we go. Worried that I didn't, that I didn't drink it, but like, well, we'd actually sound like madmen. We just sat there going, "Okay, we need to do this, we need to do that." And people was like, "You're not gonna have many hours in a day, mate." I will put fucking put twenty six hours in each fucking day working if it comes to it. We got out of the cinema about half ten. We came straight here. By the way, we live two minutes away, and we dro- it's a two minute walk, so we drove. So we got back in like twenty seconds. Then we started the podcast. It took longer to drive because of all the shit. We got back and started this about. Coming on to whatever time we started, like, so we were here for like an hour. We were standing in the kitchen making a cup of tea and a coffee for like half, like twenty minutes, fifteen minutes, something like that. Speaking about how to make money, come upstairs, spoke about how to make money. And I feel like you need that hunger. What we yeah. said though was like, we want to work this hard when we're young, no, put, put in the work whilst you're young and whilst you're still fresh, and then when I'm older. And people don't have to worry about it. When we're older and people are fucking living 
paycheck by paycheck. I want to have so much money where I can just be like, oh no, I'm sound. I'll I'll go on all day now. Exactly. It's like it. when obviously if you like going out and drinking all the time, you do you. Mog. But like when <laughs> who? Mog. Oh, like when I wake up on like a a, a Saturday morning or something and seeing like someone's story and like the shit face. I'm like, they've now got the whole weekend, probably most of their Saturdays just having a bad headache. But the things are like I've always said, oh, I, that's sick, I I get why people drink and I get why people go out. Like you know, that's totally fine. But like you know, I don't have like that's not my fun. If that's their fun, then you know, that, fair yeah. Play. But that's why we don't see it because that's not us. Yeah, exactly. Drinking medium is going to be too big, so it's an oversized fit. No, nah, not sick. Medium should be fine. But like, if it isn't, I'll just return it. It's obviously up to people, like those people, whatever they want to do. But like, I don't like those sort of people make drinking their personality. The, like the the thing that I have an issue with is like we have that different outtake on life where you know we don't like it and but then the people that do like it kind of give us shit for it and it's like okay it's cause we're all different but like we're not giving you shit for it but you're giving us it's shit like times you used to get pressure because you didn't fucking yeah, drink yeah, exactly. how do you get pressure when you don't drink oh I'm, I'm being okay. sensible I'm oh being what you were not bad for it it's like, <laughs> you know, you know when you exactly. go on school trips and like you saw another school so like, oh yeah fuck you wanker and all that <laughs> it's like that like you clash <laughs> <laughs> exactly and I, I, feel, I feel like that's obviously that's happened in the last like year for me and it's you know it's one of those things where you just go okay well that's how you want to do things and that, that's just life isn't it I think yeah but just, like with you as well Cup, you've had your fucking head screwed on for so long you were probably one of the first people I know like when we all left school to drive like you were probably yeah, probably yeah. the first I knew about driving yeah I know <sighs> busy Monday for us it's alright <laughs> is what it is I don't have plans for the week. Oh shit! That's what Lydia painted for me. That is fucking sick. I've said this before, but Lydia's a great artist. Like that was a picture I gave her. And it's oh spot God. on. It's spot on to the picture. Are you gonna put a picture so everyone can see? That is fucking amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Go, don't we go stand near the camera with the picture? Oh, it's alright. I'll, all right, I'll, <laughs> I'll figure it out. But like, yeah, she's very good at work. She's she's incredible. Amazing. I'm getting her to draw me some tattoo designs. I just said I'm gonna send oh, her loads of different designs what? or like things that I like from Berserk. I'm just gonna like sketch me some tattoos. Draw this it, it might sound a bit cheap, but like if I say if I say to her like you know I'll give you like fifty quid or whatever or how, how much she wants. Do you reckon she'll pay something for it? But she do it for free. Just buy no, the canvas and paint. Bro, I'll I'll I'll, I'll pay her. She's she's really good. Wait, as long as you buy the stuff, or she she do it for you. Well, I'll negotiate then. With her. I'll just when is she next? No, just do something for whenever you see her. Right, Buy your food, or do, it's easy. Honestly, I feel like we are the most straightforward people on the planet. <laughs> okay. Not like no, whenever no, whenever we go anywhere, yeah, yeah, like, you're, you're driving at some walks by dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we go to the cinema, went to the cinema today. These guys can make plans like that, and it's just ten times easier than it would be because there's no point in being. So, can you do tonight? No. Can you do yes, just what, be just be honest. What day can you do this week? Probably Wednesday. Yes, I'm with you Wednesday. Oh, I'm not free Wednesday. Okay, we'll do Thursday. Yeah, exactly. Easy. Like, especially like we all know in the past where like for example where plans have been changed and people are like, oh, you know, giving a shit for it. It's like, okay, whatever. Like you, at, at that point you kinda can't be asked. Don't get me wrong, like there was a time yeah. when we were trying to do so much together, all three of us, mm-hmm. that it was causing us to fall out because you'd either be busy. Mm-hmm. Or you were busy and you would, you'd feel bad in saying yeah, no. Yeah, saying no and it was like, oh, And shit. then it's like, I, I honestly feel like because of us, you've actually come out your shell really, no, like, exactly. mold. I feel like we've found a balance now. I feel like right. you can actually stand up, like, stand on your own two feet. You're not scared to disagree with us. No. Like, back in the day. Yeah, probably. Like, I was very a few like, months, you are like, oh, shit, I don't want to say no. No, exactly. Well, it, no, it, it just gets it, to the point. No. As soon That's, as you realise, you're not going to get your head bitten off saying no. Like, oh, so. Yeah, like, but I feel like that's one of the worst things someone can actually do to you is pay pressure. Mm-hmm. Like, Facts. if I feel bad and say no to something, something's wrong. Yeah, like, the, the whole friendship needs, just needs to, to be looked at. Like, it's like when someone says, oh, do you want to do this? And like, no. And like, oh, yeah, no, just, just do it, come on. You're in no bed. Like, <laughs> I was you like, go why there, you do it? <laughs> you go and do it with whatever it is, like, like, and people you feel like, shit. People get offended, though. Like, people think it's like, like they probably deep it more than that. Mm, no, I just don't want to go fucking go-karting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, literally. It's just one of those, isn't it? You on a Saturday night, do you want to come, like, look at this abandoned building? No. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> 
Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that, that feels personal. <laughs> Shots fired. Pew, pew. Oh, yeah. So, basically, I'm not going to invite him to anything else anymore because he don't want to come look at this old church with me on a Saturday night. Like, do you know how he's in the warm? Well, mate, calm down. My bad, calm my down. Bad, it's fine. Bad, it's fine. Bad, it's fine. Bad, it's fine. We get it. We get it, bro. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sound. I've spent so many time with so many different, so much time, so many time, so many times, with England. so much different people. <laughs> <laughs> so many and, different characters. And the one constant thing is that people can't stand themselves. What do you mean by that? Because everyone is so pent up with how everyone else feels oh. when they actually have to come to be alone they really struggle yeah i've over time i think it happened when i was living by myself i gradually realized i was like being alone's good for you not all the time yeah yeah but it is you good know, like sometimes i'll i need to be with someone like yeah and you need this type of interaction contact and interaction but sometimes like Nathan's main issue for a long time was you really struggled being by yourself. And this forced him to like try and make plans all the time and try and do stuff and it become very pressuring for like But and actually my favourite thing to do is chill at home. Literally. Yeah, he like, comes well, up I, I in my room every night and chills. Exactly. Like, like that last thing I've noticed that like, he's just like, Oh, you call online like, nah, I'm chilling. I'm like, Yeah, sweet. Like good for you. Like, you know, I'd I'd rather you do something that you want to do. It's just like, you know, it's just one of those well, things. Well, the thing is, when I'm on my own, I don't even do anything. I'm either on Instagram or Pinterest. Or TikTok. I actually don't use that as much, you know? No, I mean, it's out to the fucking 10 videos a day you send me. <laughs> do you complain about those videos? No, because it's all you. just girls. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not Jess. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's probably just like... No, it's actually much like dark humour in that now. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I've noticed recently on my Instagram when I go on like reels and stuff? You know when they're like sense, like sense, sense. I can't say the word. Censored. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, like your videos, and I, I click on it saying I want to watch it. Like I just see people with, like arms getting ripped off. And Bro, like, the one. Oh, I saw this one yesterday. I showed Kez. I don't like get screamish or anything like yeah, with yeah, videos, yeah. but do you know like in um, is it Spain where they do the balls? Oh. Wait, I think I fucking saw Bro, that one. Bro, this man gets fucking levered, but then oh, the horn, mate, it goes in him. Have you seen one where he's like, his face is pretty much hanging off by a thread? I've seen, like, thread. I've seen videos of like men getting mauled by tyres and you see the after yeah. effect and that. Like, yeah. just, if you're it's watching this, don't touch an animal you shouldn't touch. <laughs> Literally. Like, there's still people out there who will just do it anyway. It's just so scary. I was just one, like, he was actually um, driving, like, go-karts with his friends and stuff. And, like, his 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 friend's go-kart goes over his hand, oh, and broke his, his little fingers <laughs> bro, not like, even there anymore. I saw this video, it it went f- um, viral quite a bit, gone. and this woman, she's drunk, so I think I think she was naked, she, like, hangs out a window, her husband's gone, like, 106 miles an hour, they were that close to the side, lamppost. Oh, she just hits a lamppost. Dead. She's dead. That she's dead. Like, bro, like, there's the shit you can get away with uploading on Twitter, though. It's, oh, yeah, like, it's crazy. Twitter's just become a fucking, it's a fuck oh, fest. Do, do you remember Live Leak? Bro, Live Leak was the maddest shit. I Wait. remember going on like, in college and just seeing, like, like, I know it sounds weird now, but, like, beheaded videos, you're like, fuck. Like, we like, as a country, we're so protected to that kind of, like, horrible world that people live in. It's so scary. Yeah, like, some of the videos I see on that like oh no I can't even think about like like I said I'm not like genuinely I'm not scared of anything that mm. I know of mm. but like shit like that like you have to feel what they felt just before the moment it's crazy it's probably just dread and just, just fear know. yeah fear yeah literally I remember watching a video this like this old lady got her face just tuned off by a dog like she doesn't even have a face it's like oh that's fucked it's just like after that though, would you want to live? No, nah. you just, you you've got no face, no over, no face, no case. It's mad, like <laughs> how do you know, like to us, obviously that's brutal as fuck, but that's a dog. It's how people can also be okay with like fucking ripping us, so, like ripping someone apart. But people have kinks all that shit. Red rooms like, and like, that, literally. But, like I remember seeing this thing where there's like this guy wanted to be eaten alive, and like watched the guy literally eat him. 
And it's like, sorry? Are you all right? <laughs> You're not a cake, mate. You're a human. <laughs> like, what are you doing? It's just weird, isn't it? But what do you mean you want to be chewed? <laughs> it's just like, apparently, he, like, the guy wanted his arm to be ripped off and, like, like this, this other guy just to eat him whilst watching him. It's like, okay. He's just bleeding out like no one, like, Oh god! Ugh. What I seasoning did you use? <laughs> <laughs> it's just we, li- we live in a bizarre world. Oh, bizarre! In it right? In it reminded me. You come to think this year when you watch Marvel, you look at all these universes. Spider Man exists, and we live in the one where he doesn't exist. <laughs> Fucking bullshit! <laughs> in it mad? <laughs> no, in it mad to think that though. Like, like Tom Holland's one. Like he obviously lives in the one he lives. And then, in sp- I'm not gonna ruin anything just because no one's seen it. Then obviously you see what happened. You see, yeah, you see what happened. More Spider Man's come in, and we live in that universe. He, the fucker, doesn't exist. I think we actually like as a like as a planet. Do you reckon we actually have like secret superheroes, like superhuman people? Yeah, have you seen like I think think we do. Have you seen that old woman who was on the news and she can't feel a tiny bit of heart, and like she has the world's hottest pepper and she keeps eating it. But like she eats that much of it, the doctor's like, "No, fucking stop! It's actually yeah, not good for yeah, you." Yeah, you know? yeah. It just shits out like steam. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake! But like, no, I, I feel like as a planet, we definitely have some kind of form of defense system. Like, if anything did happen, we could just fuck shit up. You know what I mean? Mm. You know how like Tony Stark wanted like a shield around the. Definitely not. <laughs> I feel like we have something. No, like have you seen that fucker on TikTok? He like makes everything for Marvel films. He's made the um, Venom suit, so like he has loads of magnets. He touches this thing, it just all goes. He's called him a fucker. Yeah, I was gonna say, say he's like, not, like, poor lad. <laughs> he's a legend. And then I saw this one where it's like, oh, I've got this chicken, this lizard. Let's see what happens when I put both DNAs together. And it's like a chicken, like oh wait, I've seen fucking lizard's shit. tongue coming lizard. out, <laughs> <Chicken> massive <laughs> tail. Get it from Mackie's now. Shut up, you dickhead. Shut up, bitch. Like, it's mad. Like <laughs> the world we live in is crazy. I just. I think, think you know what I do find crazy is you know, when you look at Andrew Tate. Yeah, look at how much money he's actually got. Ridiculous. I always think this when you look at celebrities and it says that oh, Johnny Depp made two hundred forty million from Pirates Can't Be, and I'm there like that's fucking mad. It's like mate, I'm pulling, them, I'm pulling in a month. Are you winding me up? Yeah, literally. This is that's what pisses me off. Is Andrew Tate actually said it made a mad point? Is like this guy? He said I would have to work. Literally, fifty years of my life, just to, or just yeah. to be able to afford that car there. With that's without spending any money, and he just bought it. And then you said there's people there that can afford to get that just as a car, just as a daily. That is insane. And I think I feel like I need to start having that. I always get dead hungry for it. Now I drop back down. Mm. Like my intensity stays at such a high level, and then it goes down. I feel like that's one just due. To mental health, yeah, I, I, feel, men- I, feel, I feel like mental health is obviously a massive playing factor in all this type of shit. Yeah, which is a shame, but mental health affects everyone, anyone, affects everyone. And I feel like the main thing it actually does affect is your motivation. Because so your work anyone? ethic, it, yeah. gets affected the most by how you feel. If I don't feel like working, I'm still going to work, but I'm not pulling anywhere near as much no. effort as I should be. No. And that you do, that's what winds why, why me up about like certain places where like if you do call in sick because you do like genuinely feel like shit, they give you so much shit for it. Like they try and fire for that kind of stuff. It's like piss off. Yeah, well, but like you are legally allowed mental health days. It's literally, it, mental health is like not locked up upon as much as it, as much as it should be. No, especially like you know I'm gonna say this now, but like especially in males. I mean it's it's definitely been pushed a lot more in the, like the last couple of years, but even to this day like. It's still not. It's so underfunded. I hate to say you man up. Yeah, or like boys don't cry. It's like, what the fuck's that supposed to mean? I can't cry. Exactly. All right, then. It's like, that's the thing. It's going to sound a bit cringy, but like, men are like, I'm going to be careful what I say. Like, do you know like when people say in a relationship, like the man's like the protector? Mm-hmm. Like when people say man or up, like, you're the, like the provider. Now I, yeah, now I, I have like to. we've got more pressure on us. I have, yeah, to, I have to put this face on now because I am the protector. Mm. I can't cry now because, like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get it, yeah. I'm not saying like women are not the protectors. Like, oh, I could say like you know, women's... oh, but as as a man, we're physically stronger. Oh, so, yeah, but I feel like men in general, even if even if I had a stronger girlfriend than me, <laughs> I'd still want to be that one who protects because I feel like it's just 
fair it's, it's not due to you as a man. Yeah, it's, it's in our DNA. To do Obviously, that. I don't agree with the fact a lot of men won't cry in front of the girlfriend or talk about it. I, I've cried in front of Lydia so many times. And people are like, you shouldn't cry. Like they, She thinks you're weak. And it's like, no, she doesn't think I'm weak. It's she, never said like, it. she probably thinks I'm stronger for actually doing it. Like, getting upset. Like, for me, last year was the worst year for mental health. Like I never had a panic attack and I had the worst one ever last You're year. You got fucking cheated on though. Bet. Like getting cheated on, getting betrayed by someone who you think like loves you is is terrible. A, I do wanna say by the way, I haven't properly said it out loud and this might sound cringy. Thanks you too. Thank you too. It's alright, mate. Genuinely. I've got twelve here, I'm stuck here, aren't I? I'm a brother. <laughs> So no, like last year, my circle's always been small, but I had like obviously my mum and dad did a massive part to make sure I'm happy. Obviously, that's their job, but like they, like I remember, I'm gonna give you a story. I went downstairs one day, yeah, and I just started crying. My dad was out; he went town. <laughs> I went outside, and it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I started crying, and my mum, my mum's like, it was like my mum panicked. She was like, "Mate, what, the, what the fuck's up? Like, I'm normally bubbling all that." Then, um. She started hugging me. She got my sister, and my niece around because obviously me and my niece are close. Like, yeah, it's like the people that make you happy bring them. Yeah, around, yeah. and my dad was like, "Come on, son, we're going out." We had a chippy. Um, we did like modded my room and blah de blah. Yeah. Modded it. <laughs> yeah, like put some shelves up and that. Some LED lights, bro. <laughs> and like, obviously, you were living here, so you helped. Like, it was bad, but like, I had the best people around me at that time. Yeah, exactly. I still have them. I could probably count them on like five fingers. Bad thing is, is um, I think I had the worst start into this year imaginable. Default, yeah, like, I thought like my mental health's never been good anyway. Like to be honest, but I also like I've always manned up about it. And half of that will be to do with my grandma. When my grandma's very old fashioned, I said to her like, I remember I said to because at the start of this year, my my mother went into like critical care, went into hospital, and it was. Tough. I normally wasn't too arse because I've had shit going on in my family for a long time. But I was like, oh, I don't think I'd even give a f-. As bad as it sounds, I don't really think I'd give too much of a fuck if... Not too much of a fuck. I, was like, I don't think I'd cry if she died. I'd be obviously really sad and blah, blah, blah. And like, then when you see someone in that type of situation, I, like it broke my heart. And then that same night that I found that out, my granddad died. But then... In the same day, by the way. Yeah, same same day we found out that I died, and then from that I was like, "Fuck!" Like, I was like, "This is awful," and I got in such a position. My room was a mess all the time, and then I felt awful. But then, like, I feel like being sad isn't an excuse to be lazy. No, no, definitely not. I feel like if you keep being productive busy, keeps yourself good. Yeah, but I mean, I I've been in work before. Found out my uncle died in the night, and I literally just looked at my phone. And went, okay, man. okay, Tim. You- you said, my phone. You told me. I went shit back to oh, You got work. At the end of the day, but like, I feel like with mental health, it's so easy for us guys to just sit there and be upset about it. I think to a lot ourselves. of people at our age do that though. Like, they just. I sit in my bed and over. cry every single night. And it's like, that is like a feeling of loneliness I get every single night. But that's because I'm, I'm the only person who's been through my. Shit. Yeah, exactly. People could have been through the exact same stuff, but it isn't my but, stuff. Like, sometimes, where well, you need this, I'm not saying like your mum going into crit- critical care and your granddad dying, you need, but like, yeah, look at the person. That, to be fair. No, look at the, no, like, it's gonna <laughs> sculpt right you in it. Like, the person you're gonna become, like, I'll, I'll tell every single person I know, like, you're the strongest person I know. Facts. But like, I don't see it as anything special, but that's I've done it for all my life, and I so. Like, I feel like you need struggle, but when it gets to too much, you, you need can hurdles. Just... Then I feel like I don't react very well to those hurdles anymore. I just feel like it just think it just keeps me. Everyone reacts need, different though, innit? Like, you need to own what you're struggling with, don't you? Yeah. Like, let's be honest. Like if you're struggling, you need to own it. That's your struggle. That's how you're gonna get, it, like, it, gonna get like, around it. It's like, actually what fucks you. Like what ruins your life the most is what actually helps you make the most progress depending on how you take it you know, it's like, like you say that like, people react differently so when a dog dies sometimes people are oh it's just a dog you'll get another bro when my dogs died I cried for hours 
Like, do you remember? One of them I was at work, one was in lockdown. I cried for hours. Like, no I lie. We, we had to help the dog into the vet. Bro, no, that was... No, into the car for the time. vet. No, but I remember, like, just helping him and shit. And like, Blade, when we had him, he had, obviously, they had tumours, because they're both Rottweilers who lived to 14, by the way. Their life expense, expect... Please help me. Expectancy. Thank you. Is not, I swear, nine years old. They lived to 14. Very the good. happiest dogs, the most healthiest... No, they were fat fuckers, but, like, they were <laughs> just treated fat. amazing. And he had, like, cancer up his nose, and I remember one day he sneezed and blood fucking went up everywhere and my mum the next day I was like mum was like I'm going to take him to the vets just see what we can do for him but like the vet said like if you let him go back home that same day like that is cruel do not fucking do that just do it no. and it was in lockdown my mum woke me up and shot me like we're going to have to take I'm so sorry I was like oh fuck I text Kez, te- I text Kez first thing I went downstairs and bro I broke my heart like I'm going to break my heart now what the fuck and obviously because he always used this thing like he used to rest his head on you and it's like he knew like I went up to him he's just sitting there still like bleeding a bit and he put his head on me like oh I'm gonna cry um he put his head on me and obviously we took I don't know why I'm telling a story about how my dog died alright but anyway so we took him we're here living no we took him and I remember, like, my dad don't cry. My dad never cries, obviously. And we, I've had these dogs for 14 years. Bro, I was like in primary school, yeah. infants. Um, So, obviously, he passed away. And this was in lockdown, so shit was not really yeah, that really good know. anyway. Yeah, yeah. I went outside. It was hot. So, I had a moment to myself. And then, after that, still had one dog. So, I was with him all the time. And when he died, I was at work. Fuck out. Like it's, but like it's react like I reacted to that over a dog, and other people come back like, like, oh, we just get another one tomorrow. It's fine. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, especially for like your react, dog's family. react how you think it's right to react. There's only one way to go about the problem, and that's your way. Exactly. If you want, honestly, if you want to sit there and be dead sad and be lazy, do it for a bit. Once that starts really affecting your life, yeah, and you make, if you make your struggle your personality, you'll get nowhere. Yeah, true. Because some people will struggle and be like, oh, this is my chance, so I'll sit back now. Mm. I'll, I'll sit back and I'll just be sad. And no one can tell me anything different. And, and, like, and they'll stay there. You, you don't want to do that. No. Like, like, when, when you look back in like 10 years' time, and go, wow, I could have done things so much differently. But I, I also get a lot of motivation looking back at the fact I grew up poor, like worse than poor. We had no money. Didn't even always have a house to sleep in. And at the end of the day, I've done this by myself. Exactly. My grandma, my grandma's like helped me so much, but like I'm here because what I've done. I didn't go through school. I couldn't, couldn't be bothered with it. Did everything. Did everything myself. Exactly. And that's you know you you look back at that and be so proud of yourself. Like you know we all are proud of you. You know right now. Well, I mean like especially how much you've fact, come. all of us three. Me and Nathan didn't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I just didn't think you had anything about you, and then you grew up, and you're like, okay. I feel like after school, I definitely grew up the like the most. I I learned I to. I've learned ten times more out of school. Yeah, hundred percent. School's full school. of shit. I, I actually hate school. I mean, I like to feel the social side of it, but like how much you learn and stuff. I, just I don't feel like I got anything from it. Exactly. I cope with you as well. You're always to me the happiest person ever. But I'm asking, like, truly? I, I don't, I don't think he is. Though. No, truly, like, speak, I, I, I am, I am, and I'm not. I'm days. asking you from like, I can, I can say you're my best friend as well. You two, obviously. And I'm asking from best friend to best friend. Are you okay? I'm, I'm good, thank you. Mm, tell I, the truth. I have my struggles, of course, but like, I'm sorting them out. Like, you know, I'm every day is a, every day is a school day where you know you're trying to make them problems go away. Definitely. So, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not okay. Yeah. But like the the way I, the way I look at life is is like, you know, when people you know commit suicide and all this kind of stuff, it's like okay, you only have this life once. Like you know, let's make the most of it, and we don't know what's around the corner. You know, I couldn't kill myself. I just couldn't. Exactly. I I feel like there's so much more to life. Like, no, 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 no. I've tried, but it's just no. Yeah. Once no, but once you get that low, once you don't do it, you get such. High from it from realizing, wow, my life is worth more than because, what like, I it's think so it is. sad because, like, people you know do commit suicide, and it's like I understand why they've done it, and I understand that 
you know, that's how they felt like at that moment of time. But it's I, a like, waste of a chance of redemption. Out out of like, you know, the people that survived, like kill themselves, they they always turn around and go, I'm so glad. Bro, I'm that, so that, glad I didn't die. That um lad on Logan Post podcast, the one who jumped from the Golden Gate Bridge. Yo, I think I've seen that actually. He's like one in like what three people or something like that, that survived it. It's crazy. It's like I feel like I don't know, when people I can't even put it into words, but when you realise actually how of a little chance we have of this life, you know, we were literally like swimming towards towards the fucking. Like we're always looking yeah. for a way to end it. Exactly. It's scary soon, how fast it can go. Like it can go like that. I mean, think about it. As soon as we find a problem, we never think about we never think about the problem. We think about how to finish the problem. Mm-hmm. You need to think about the problem in front of you. Exactly. Like when all that shit happened to me at the start of this year, about the sounds I didn't think of. Everyone said, "Oh." When your mum's out of hospital or when this happens or when but no, when this. she's out, I was like, I'm not thinking about then, I'm thinking about what's in front of me. You take if you take the problem at face value, you'll gain so much more from it. Exactly. My mum's still in the hospital, she's recovering, but like from that, I haven't thought about what she'll do after. I'm just thinking in the my mum's okay doing. now. Yeah. 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 Whatever happens after, you I deal like with when it comes that's to also it. Also quite a generation thing where like people care about too much about what could or might happen. It's like no live in the moment. You worry about what could happen exactly. when you're not worrying about exactly. what's happening. Exactly. You neglect what's happening because you're worrying about what could happen. But that same thing with your future. Uh, my grandma kind of wanted to plan my, not plan my future up, says, I want you to go to school, I want you to go to college, I want you to go to uni. And then I was like, I that's what do. you want me to do. And from that, I lucky didn't want to do it because she was like, that's what you want me to do. I, no, like, exactly. like, I want to do but but then, but then for us, like, you know, we, we have this like kind of plan for the, you know, the next few years and stuff like that. That's what we all want to do. And that's, that's yeah, our goals. I always keep it very vague. I've got yeah, a few yeah. goals I have, but there's never, I never set in stone no. what's going to happen. Like, it, oh, the main thing that's going to happen is time. I'm going to move out, yeah. I'm going to drive, yeah. and I'm going to have a lot of money. And that's the main Facts. three things. I'm how how I get well. that it's doesn't bother me. What I do, do along it. the way is just bonus. You're just going to do it. And that's that's it. Well, I feel like we've been. Oh, you go on. That's right. I feel like we've been really sat here. Wanting, I said to say we've been treating this as a hobby. And I think we need to treat it like a job. Thanks. Because if we start if we start treating this like a job, it's gonna show. It's gonna show in quality. It's gonna but show also, in how it's, we it's live like our a, life. It's, it's like gonna a hobby of a us. job as well. That's what I mean. It's a job that you enjoy doing. Yeah, yeah. So if you enjoy doing your job, you're gonna actually have a field day all the time. Literally. You're gonna love coming to work. <laughs> That's what do. I mean. And then I feel like that'll affect us in our everyday life. Yeah. If you're happy to if you're doing what you love and making money and affecting people because I was talking about this mental health. There might be people sat there fucking, like thinking, fuck no, I really struggle as well. Like, sure and these are letting me know it's okay to struggle because it is okay to struggle. But at the end of the day, if you make struggling your life whilst it happens, if a parent dies or something happens or you lose a job, the worst thing you can let it do is just stick you in the mud. Cause I, and I know that from experience because whenever I get in shit, I, I get stuck in the mud. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes, like, I'm going so fast and my head's so switched on. is like, as soon as I slow down, I'm knackered and I'm sad. As soon as I calm down, I, mean, I feel like I keep my brain racing all night. And then as soon as I chill out for a bit, I'm like, I'm going to cry. No, literally, like, it's, it's like when you actually start processing things at, like, a normal Pressure speed. gets to you. No, exactly. exactly. So that's where all these people who make a lot of money sometimes are really sad because they've got so much pressure on them. Once they actually settle down for a second, they're like, but, Fuck, but that's bro. what I mean. Like, like for me, I struggle sleeping. Like as a general, I, I, and I know you do. It's like when you get into bed, when you turn off, you know, your iPhone or your, your TV, whatever, and then you sit in the dark and you're shit. Like your head goes like two hundred miles per hour. There was nothing that actually gets to me more than my sleeping pattern. Exactly, I hate because it. I'm like I go sleep at two, I go to work at eight, but I'm getting out of bed at. 7 30 yeah, yeah. i'm like why but then it was like you need to sort your sleep out like, it's not that easy, it's not easy. because i'm s- because i get so stuck in the mud about a lot of stuff i'm stuck in bed or like um when i get home i don't do anything i feel like i haven't got to do anything i enjoy today so i'm gonna stay up later and do it and it's like no i need to i have a wake up earlier if i need to wake up early go to the gym or Go to gym right after work or eat this or there's a lot of stuff that I want to do and I'm like, I've got no time for it. I mean, I've got all week. Exactly. I work exactly. till four, five. 
After that, that doesn't mean I've got no time. I've got another five hours. You know what you can do in five hours? It's crazy. Be five five episodes of Screwcast, <laughs> which you should like and subscribe to and share like, with you now. I also feel like <laughs> hatred, like hate and sadness, is the biggest motivation because I get angry that I'm not successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought that way of a different way. Like you talking about hate towards people. I like, yeah, I'm in, people as well. I'm in the gym. I'm like, fuck I'll them. Fuck them up. <laughs> no, but yeah, but that also works and you'll succeed from that. It, however you take it, hatred. Oh, wait. Let me. You're going to read us out of Peaky Blinders quote. <laughs> <laughs> what a quote with Tommy Shelby in the back. No, this guy said something. He said, your anger is the part of you that loves you the most. It knows when you're being mistreated, neglected and disrespected. It makes you aware when you need to leave a room, a job, or a relationship. Learn to listen to your anger and make it your best friend. And it will leave. And like, when I heard that, you I was like, deep, like, you're like what? Well, it's like, anger is your best friend. Because you don't get angry for no reason. You only get angry when something's going wrong. If you start actually not just getting angry, and if you actually start thinking, fuck, this is pissing me off. And it's like, why is it pissing me off? Well, like, Obviously, you know, when people go through, like, heartbreak and stuff like that, you know, for example, getting you know, cheated on and stuff like that, that's, like, pe- that's people's motivations, like, getting the gym. That's why a lot of people go to the gym, but that's because exactly. a lot of people will get broken up because of their parents. Yeah, yeah. If Lydia was to break up with me, I wouldn't hit the gym because of it. I'd work on myself as a person mentally because <sighs> she wouldn't leave me for how I look. Let's be honest, no, she wouldn't. <laughs> sort. <laughs> No, but she wouldn't leave me for how I look. She'd leave me for how I am as a person. And that's where, that's what, what I mean. But I could take her, so I'm going to hit the gym now because she's left me. It's like, I'm not getting no, anything exactly. from that. I feel like that's why people really struggle to, struggle with breakups. Because they don't actually know the reason. Like, they, they don't know where to they go They don't think them. about where they went wrong. They just know something went wrong. Yeah, and just go, okay, well, that was that. Like, I sit there and get frustrated about not being successful and that's my biggest motivation to want to make money like and I get angry that I'm sleeping late that's because I'm not doing anything productive with my day to feel like I should go sleep yeah exactly because like if you if your body was exhausted you would go sleep that's uh, that's the annoying thing with it that's what I feel like you get you get angry you're not Mm. like you get angry like you're stuck in stuck working in the co-op yeah literally like, I just feel like it's like, going, like, going nowhere at times. It's like I like, get angry coming home every day thinking that I've done the same thing today that I did yesterday and the day before and the day before. Do you know one thing that actually makes me angry? And this is not really the same as yours. How jealous I can get. No, I'm I, so I, jealous I, I'm of saying that, like, you people. Know, I get jealous, but I, like, I think of ways of how I can do that and make my own. But then I, I mean, also, like, I, I, I get it from your like, point of view. Well, I like, get jealous of, like, like, why the fuck can he have that, but I can't. Yeah. But I'm like, that's unfair. But it's not unfair, it's fair, but it feels unfair. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's like little fucking boys. You can go up to Jess like, oh, by the way, bear in mind, they're, like, they're wearing skinny jeans, that says enough. <laughs> but like, when <laughs> they go up to like, oh, yeah, your boyfriend doesn't have to know, like, shut the fuck up. I'll dome you. Literally. You know what I mean? Did you actually, did, sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, did you actually just say that with a straight face? What? On podcast? <laughs> dome you. No. <laughs> No, that for some took my motivation is like my jealousy. I want to dome my wife because you said that your boyfriend doesn't have to know. Anyone would want to dome him. That's what pisses me off the most, though. Just people don't have respect nowadays. I think that's where yeah, it is. respect goes along. Right? I don't. I don't think I'd be forced. Yeah, because like you know how like, much Lydia loves you. I would never. Oh, even what you trying to say? No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's oh, like, you think Jess doesn't love you? No, right? I know Jess loves me. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the thing though like we obviously we're lads we know how lads think that's what yes. pisses me off that other people don't know that yeah when girls go oh he's only a friend yeah bet he is fuck you're off you're not allowed then <laughs> no, I'm no, joking no, 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 no. Like, no you're not I am Abby like I've always said to that before like Abby can like have friends like that are lads like, I don't care like I've always said that but it's like as soon as they do something it's a bit like what you're doing that's as soon as I, I don't like, want them there yeah I expect yeah no, I don't exactly. expect to like if I was in a situation I was mates with a girl and it made Lydia uncomfortable done 
Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. It's the same. It's like, it doesn't you know, need to be. I've got friends that girls, but like, if if Abby was uncomfortable, I'd be like, okay, all right, fair enough. Like, you you are my priority, and you know that that's it. it is what it is. I'm dating you, so okay. Uh, it doesn't mean I'd fucking be nasty towards the person yeah, or fucked no, off. Exactly. I'd just distance yourself. So you know, all due respect, but bye. It's the show it is. But yeah. I get very jealous of what people have. I get. I get seen as like if I see something I like that someone wears, I'll get it, and people will look at me and think, "Fucking hell, you're copying." It's like, no, I'm not That's copying. What I mean. I'm taking that inspiration. I'm seeing what they've got, and I'm like, "Oh, I like it. I want it." No, and I want what they've got. So if I start wearing stuff or getting stuff, the same people that other people have that I like, I'm then gonna start trying to do better for myself because I'm getting the things what I like. It's the dead way. It's like when people say that if you and your best mate wear like the exact same thing, you get it's like no, I think, I think it looks sick. <laughs> I think that's gangster. Same underwear as well. I mean, imagine wearing like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see. What underwear are you wearing right now? Puma. What are you wearing right now? <laughs> oh, I'm not. No. <laughs> uh, Calvin Klein. What color? Black and white. Mm. What about you, mate? Oh, black on black. Black eh? on black, that's what I'm saying. I'm each of his boxes, boys. I don't know, should we guess? <laughs> okay, next shirt. Don't leave me hanging, boys. <laughs> don't leave me hanging. Don't, Robin, don't leave me fucking hanging now. Nice, nice, nice. Love touch. Black. Team friendship. <laughs> that's often you puss in boots, Phil, don't piss me off. You just don't get it because you haven't seen it because you pussy. Sorry. Oh, oh. What's happening with the camera? Bollocks. I mean, I think you're still recording. Uh, the SD cards went out of storage. I knew I didn't delete the fucking Bollocks. shit. Well, episode. thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, I think this is. It, no. oh. so, you know, I think it is actually. It doesn't matter. It doesn't anyway, matter I think it's there. probably a good time to run well, this. What team picture are we having? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Queen with, with a skin fit. Nah. Or you with a skin fit. That's kind of odd. I've got. Do you feel fit. like Michael B. Jordan? Michael B. Jordan being sexy as fuck, like water dripping from his body. Okay, that's I've weird. got a good one. Go on. Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, the dead Not fit the proudest one, yeah. tug. Dead fit? But yeah. You, Caitlyn Jenner? Why? We're, we're trying to talk about motivation now. You want fucking right, Caitlyn right. Jenner. No, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Why do you get to choose? It? No, it's the thing that I've chose both. It's like make a wish kind of thing, isn't it? Like we kind oh. of like the, like a make a wish kid in that. Bro, you've got a perm. Dad, your hair's straighter than fucking me. It's not very straight. <laughs> but I'm straight. I go to the same bar as you. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out K Cuts and that. Yeah, you just can choose the picture. I don't know what I want. What do you want, mate? <laughs> Top G. <laughs> Top G. Top G with, with actual. No, uh, how about a really nice house? Yeah, I like, like that. In, in LA. Yeah, like in LA, man. There we go. There we go. I'm glad we got that. That's gone. But um, we hope that you enjoyed this. Are and you I good hope at it's. In pictures. Because, like, can you edit like us in the mansion? I'll just do a picture of us in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it look proper realistic, though. No. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a magician yet. My bad. No, yeah. Uh, we do hope you enjoyed this. And I think this kind of adds on to the thing of having a picture at the end again. Again. So, <laughs> lol. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to sort my shit out with this over time. It's all good. I mean, the more we do it, the more get used I, to it. At the start of this episode, I thought that was going to happen, but I was like, oh, no, it'll be fine. It'll be eerie, it'll be eerie, but no. I mean, well, it's probably the perfect time to wrap up before we get a bit too deep and start ruining everyone's fucking Saturday night. Yeah, exactly, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe Sunday, I don't know. I I we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I um, hope that you we had you thinking. In the middle of the night. I'm like, Why are you looking at I do want everyone here listening to realise us talking about our problems doesn't mean that that's the best way for you to deal with yours because just because we we're okay we're talking about it doesn't mean you have to talk about it as long as you take action on it and do stuff that will help you resolve your issues and as long as you do anything to better yourself you'll, you'll be okay do not harm yourself in any single way thank you Nate. Shout out to anyone that's watching the end of the video. Nathan, I, I know I said my uh, person that I thought I was going to, but... Who did you say? Squeak. Um, shout, out, shout out to anyone. I mean, again, mine's probably Ryan and uh, Denver, so shout out to you boys. 
What Jessica. Kieran, have you got one? Or? Lydia? Nathan. <laughs> yeah, but Lyd's like standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to... My dad. Oh, sh- no. Will Wenlock. I know he likes to watch him. Shout out to Ellis Daly. Yeah, you know, yeah, actually, yeah. If he watches it, and if he fucking follows us on fucking Instagram like he's meant to. And bro, you can say hi in the gym. We didn't say hi either. I didn't Shout out to Ellis, because to be fair, he's, he, he's been supporting us like for like forever. I'm going to say that's really you good, know, but just, fair. Just, bro, just follow us if you like it so much. <laughs> I'll follow you. <laughs> follow you back. We will m- remember you all when much love, we want much to be love. famous. But yeah, thanks for Now here's guys. a sound of my mic hitting Corbin on the head. Fuck off. Kez? Yeah, me. Ow. Ow. Not twice, you fucking... Don't even stop. Just, mate, There's nothing in there. Look at the audio there. It's gone nuts. Okay. This is Kieran. This is Biscuits. <laughs> that destroys lives. And Nathan is. How are we going? Why do you ruin the outro all the fucking how, time? How? Like you said this is Kieran. He said this, and you didn't want to say, "Oh, this is Nathan." You just wanted to say, "And and the pussy." No, I said he destroys the pussy. Yeah, but why can't <laughs> you say and Where, Nathan? Where's Nathan at? Nathan is here. And goodbye. Nathan just left. The all building. right, love you guys. Bye. Bye.